Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna dive into the Ford and OBS specific PSOM. So that's pro uh, Programmable Speedometer Odometer Module. I have had a absolute nightmare of a time with my speedometer bouncing, um, you know, with all sorts of stuff with my actual speedometer and odometer going blank. Um, I've sent my, my PSOM off to get fixed. I've got a junkyard unit. I got a second junkyard unit. And holy cow, it's been constant issues. But I think I finally got it ironed out. Um, and I actually picked up a couple things from the junkyard. <laughs> Again, because I'm, you know, kind of, kind of a degenerate like that. And um, it's, it's back to working. So I replaced the ABS module um, that's behind the glove box, which your speed signal from your rear axle comes through and then goes to your PSOM behind your dash. And so what the PSOM does is transfer the um, signal from the rear end, uh, like I said, goes through the ABS module, and then calculates and tells the transmission when to shift, the speed you're at, yada, 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 yada. And then how many miles you're putting on, you know, based on your tire size. So what you can do with that is you can reprogram it for a new tire size. And you should, because your shifting will be better, everything will be better on it, um, and your you know speed and mileage will be accurate. And so it's a really simple process, um, but let's first look at kind of what I'm talking about, um, what the PSOM is, because I have a spare, I have a whole spare cluster um, or speedometer, and we'll check that out. All right, so obviously I've talked about what the PSOM is, and this itself is your PSOM module. It goes behind your speedometer. So there's one attached behind the speedometer. It has three torque screws in it. You get all sorts of issues with, you know, capacitors failing, this ribbon failing, which I believe is what actually probably happened with mine. I'm not positive, but that's kind of my belief. Um, and then it obviously goes into your speedometer here. Your odometer reads out. Here's your, you know, you got your shift cable for all, or your, your indicator for all of the auto trucks. So that pulls based on where you're at but anyway there's your psom any 92 to 96 obs psom no matter if it's a 300 six cylinder or if it's you know your 73 or 460 trucks they're all identical they're all interchangeable they do look different as you see there is some differences here like this one has a um little wheel on it which i don't know what the heck that does um but they're all they're all interchangeable um, so you can grab a unit. Now here's the thing. This, this is what holds your mileage in your truck. So when you swap it out, if you do not get it fixed, you're going to carry the mileage from the truck that you, um, that you pulled this out of. And this one was fixed. This is, I believe my OEM one, I believe, um, by Tyler Wolski. I have no complaints with the guy. No, no gripes. I don't want to talk poorly about him. Um, I don't know if that this was the issue um, because, like I said, I replaced my ABS uh, module and the actual speedometer, um, and it seemed to resolve the problems. But just full transparency, that's kind of what I did. He does good. He does good work. Sometimes takes a little while, um, but he's uh, he's also really cheap, like sixty bucks to fix one of these versus like two hundred from some other people. Anyway. So in order to reprogram your PSOM, there's actually a, um, a little clip underneath the, um, underneath your truck or underneath the, excuse me, the dash. If you have an OBS2 truck, it's right next to your OBS2 port. If not, we'll show you where it is. You're going to need an alligator clip and a female um, connector, spade. It's probably not going to focus because it's so small what she said um and so let's take this and let's go see kind of what the where this will plug in and how it works all right so we're here under the passenger side of the dash as you see coming in here there's my obs2 port obs yeah two port here right here if you can see that is going to be your psom um and so it's just a little plug with a spade in there um, and it sits there in the dash and just hangs out right up there. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in this spade here into there. And then you've got to ground out with this alligator clip. you got to ground, ground it, 
ground out right here. I'm gonna use this bracket. It should be a good, a fair ground or at least a substantial enough ground to do this. And then we'll talk about how you calculate your figure. So there it is all clipped in and onto there. So as you see, it's just on your, and it even says PSOM on there and then runs over to the um, bracket. Okay, so there's some calculators online, they can do it for you, but it's actually a really simple math. Um, it's gonna be your revs per mile, so it's, you can look that up or you can go to an online calculator for revs per mile. You need to look up your actual tire size. I know a 30, so guys, a 35 isn't a 35, a 33 isn't a 33, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They aren't all exact. So like my Kenda 35 by 1050s are actually a 34.76 diameter. So my revs per mile needs to be calculated off of that. Um, so you can either look it up. I think Tire Rack actually has a really good list of them, but you can search it revs per mile or there's a calculator there. So you're gonna take your revs per mile. You're gonna multiply that by your tone ring teeth. Um, 250s and 350s have 120 um, teeth. Um, so that's in your Sterling 10.25 and your F-150s and Broncos have 108. So that's a constant, you're good there. So you're gonna take revs per mile times tone ring teeth and then divide that by 8,000. So um, I think mine's like 597, I think for a 34 um, and three quarter inch tire times 120, which is my tone ring teeth divided by 8,000. So if that is accurate, you can see, there it is there, um, eight point, telemarketer, 8.96 or 896 is what I need to reprogram that to. So you can see the math, super easy, super quick. And let's go in the truck and show you how you do that. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your key into the on position, not run, while you're holding reset and your gauge should sweep. Well, you're gonna turn on me because you're sitting on my steering wheel here. There's your sweep and you'll see it says E806 when you hit your um, your select, it's gonna go through that, but E806, hit reset again, and there's your calc. 984 cal is where I'm at. You can only reset these six times, and so you're just gonna click the buttons until you get down to the number you get. If you go past it, you can go all the way through, but I think it goes all the way down to 500. So it's a long way. So again, I need to be at 896.25, but that doesn't really exist. 896, hit reset again, and we have locked in that cal. And you can turn your truck off. And then I'm gonna turn it back on while holding it just to check that it's saved. It says E805 now, which means I programmed one time so it's, I only have five reprograms left. And if I click reset again, 896 Cal. So we should be fully set now and ready to go with the new speed and the new odometer reading. So your trans will shift right and your, uh, and your speed will be right. Your mileage will be all accurate. Guys, that was a pretty quick run through on how to do PSOM reprogram, kind of what it is explaining you know, kind of the background of it and how it attaches to your Speedo. Um, runs through everything there. The reprogram's super easy. Um, hit me a like, a sub, a comment, etc. Tell me I'm an idiot if you want, I don't care. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.